As a pastor and a radio talk show host, I'm often asked, how did America get into the shape that it is in? The answer is multifaceted and entirely too complex to answer in this short video. I could speak about the political correctness movement and its destruction. I could speak about the radical homosexual agenda or the planned and perpetrated abortion holocaust. I could speak of raising many generations of children to believe that there is no God or creator or purpose and that they originally came from a magical mud pit hit by magical lightning over magical time. But the purpose of this video is to demonstrate something much more practical and striking. It is to demonstrate that the problem with America is not really the fault of the atheist or the evolutionist, the secularist, the socialist, or the communist. As the church world might say it, the problem with America is not the sinners. I suggest that the problem with America is Christians. That may sound surprising for a Christian pastor to say, but let me demonstrate. 43% of Americans say that they are born-again evangelicals. Out of 330 million Americans, that would be about 100 million people in the United States, removing the approximate number of children, who claim that they are born-again evangelicals. But out of that 100 million, only 50% are registered to vote. And out of the registered-to-vote crowd, only 50% or less actually vote on a regular basis. In other words, less than 25 million people in the United States who claim to be born-again evangelical Christians actually get involved and get engaged in what's happening in America. If the Christians would vote in mass, they could have anyone they wished in office all the time. You see, the problem in America is not the socialist or the communist or the lost people. The problem is the church and wimpy pastors and complacent Christians. It is all too easy to sit behind stained glass windows and complain. Jesus said, let your light shine. Do not hide it under a basket, but set it high upon a hill. If Christians don't vote intelligently and stay engaged in the process in America, we soon will not have a process in which to engage. We soon will not have the platform of freedom that we have to preach the gospel and to live the gospel, and Christians cannot blame it on the lost world in America. Let me illustrate. If you were living in Nazi Germany in World War II, and somehow you were miraculously given the opportunity to vote out Adolf Hitler and stop the madness, even if the other person you were voting for was not exactly like you would want him to be, but he might be used to stop the madness, would you do it? Or would you refuse to register? Or would you refuse to vote if you were registered? Or would you write in someone else's name who could not win and thus put Hitler back in, yet claim that your conscience has been eased by writing someone else in? Well, if you would do any of these things, then you would be a part of the problem, not the potential solution. I will say it again. The problem in America is not the socialist or the communist or the lost people. The problem right now is the church wimpy pastors, and complacent Christians. I urge you to pray, to vote, to get involved, to be a part of the solution while you still can be. And may God bless you. And may God bless America. Do you ever wish that you could more powerfully, succinctly, and accurately speak to the message of your Christian faith and the Word of God? This is the book you need, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. This book has been featured on TBN, Atlanta Live, dozens of radio programs, and hundreds of markets. It was rave-reviewed by the Washington Times, and it was called a must-read book. Considering the times in which we now live, you need this book. Get it today on Amazon.com or the WND Superstore.